and we're ready to go. All right, so here's what's going to happen. Once again, I said we're going to pretend that I'm done with this painting and it's ready to be signed. Now, when you sign any sort of artwork, don't sign right on the bottom edge, all right? Because if you go ahead and sign this, and I made this mistake too, I went ahead and put my name right on the bottom. When I went to get it framed up, and this was a commission piece for somebody, I went to get a frame. The frame covered up over half my signature. So I had to figure out a way of kind of blotching that old signature out and I had to re-sign it somewhere else. Um, if you do it on paper, chances are you'll have a mat that will cover up your signature too. So you want to at least get your signature, I would say at least a half inch up somewhere into your painting. Now, I like to sometimes work my signature into the painting itself. You want it to be part of the painting and you want to be able to see it, but you don't want it to become the main focus. It can't be become the main focus you guys. You got it got to almost kind of blend it in. So when I tell kids to do a signature, I usually say, choose a color that maybe exists in the painting that would contrast somewhere else. So if I look down here, maybe I could go ahead, I could add my signature ooh, right along here, right along this petal. If I went with like a lighter kind of pinkish color or purple color, that would look perfect. Um, I could even do like maybe kind of a lighter red. All right. If you went darker, you could go black, but the only problem is I didn't use any black in my painting. You want to stick with a color that does exist within your painting that would just kind of make sense. Now, because this paint is a little bit thicker, it's not a bad idea to get some water and to thin it out. This is my painting's been sitting around for a while too, so it's really kind of kind of goofy right now. So I want to go ahead. I'm going to take a little bit of water, and I'm just going to really thin it out with acrylic paint. I can go ahead and do that. It works perfectly fine. In fact, I'm going to add a little bit of white here too because I'm going to actually try my signature up underneath this pedal. Now, the type of brush I have is a nice point. I'm going to show you guys here, okay? You can see it. Hold on. Go over the background. Look at that. That's a nice point, okay? And if you take it, you take it and spin it, okay? I'm just kind of spinning it in my hands, you guys. That gives you even a nicer point. And if you want to, in fact, I don't think this is a bad idea too. Just take a sheet of paper, all right? And practice getting, oops, I got too much water in there. Get too much water. It doesn't turn, turn out. Practice doing some of your letters, okay? And see how big you want to make this, okay? Um, and it, it, I would say that's probably a, a smarter thing to do is practice first before you put it on. Now, if you start to paint this on and you go, oh boy, that doesn't look very nice. If you react right away, there is a way of getting it off. In fact, we can take another brush, especially on canvas, and we can slowly lift it off. If, you, if it's really wet, sometimes you can take your finger and just dab it off real quick but you have to be really fast when you do this, okay? Um, otherwise, like I said, take your time, make sure that your paint is nice and thin, okay? Um, I gotta make sure I can see here too, guys. Unfortunately, I can't with all my glasses, all right? And I'm looking at this going, all right, I can't see that very well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit more white paint. I'm gonna lighten this up quite a bit more. All right, add a little bit more water because my white's awfully, awfully thick still. All right, we're just gonna try this, okay? See if this stands out a little bit more. You guys may not be able to see that too well up on there. Well, you can kind of see that pretty good. That's not too bad. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of add my J in through here. All right, and I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of add my signature right through here. So it's not terribly small. I can still see it, but it blends in, you guys. It becomes part of the painting, and that's what you want, okay? Okay, so I've got this in through here. Now, um, <clears throat> once you get it done, you get it signed, everything looks good, you guys. We will be actually adding a spray to this. It's called a KMR varnish. That just seals things up really nice. Gives it a little more protection as well, especially from um, <clears throat> the paint. And if you ever spill something or something gets written on it or something gets transferred on it, you should be able to kind of clean it off very easily. Um, also, too, it gives it kind of a uni uniform kind of sheen to it as well. I think it looks really nice. So that's what I'm going to have you guys do once you finish it up. Um, 